title of this writing is, Let's Pretend. One of the most useful phrases I've learned is, Let's Pretend. It's a magical way to engage your or another's imagination. It's very practical when you're in negotiations. Here's a real-world example. Years ago, I was shopping for a teak outdoor table and chair set. I went to a vendor who had an assortment of them on display. They all had a marked price. It was mid-July and I asked the owner of the business if the item I was interested in would be going on sale and how much it would be selling for. He said, in September at the end of the season and the savings would be 30%. I noticed that I was his only customer at the time. I said, I'm really interested in buying this set today. Let's pretend it's September now and you sell it to me for the reduced price. He looked a bit stunned, but I could see the wheels turning. He said, I can't go the full 30, but I can give you a 20% discount. I bought the set at 20% off. Here's another way I use the phrase, let's pretend. When someone I'm helping is stuck in a mindset and I offer them a solution, they may say, I just can't do that. I respond with, let's pretend you could. The phrase mentally transports them from where they are now to where they want to be and presents more options. Let's pretend is a catalyst to move forward towards possibility. Let's pretend that you have a part of you that knows what's in your best interest. By the way, you won't be pretending. Ask that part of you on a daily basis to protect and direct you in whatever you do. Make it a brief meditation, a daily prayer, if you will. I'm not sure if it works, but let's pretend it does. How valuable would it be to have it in your kit and caboodle? Need more choices? Let's pretend they're available to you. My experience is this presumption will present more options than door number one or door number two. All the best, John.